Hey everyone, welcome back to another awesome workout. My name's Kelly, I'm a Planet Fitness trainer, and today's all about working a little bit of everything. Now our team members have been working really hard to get our club squeaky clean so you can focus on enjoying your workout, but we're gonna need your help to keep them clean. So if you're headed back to the club, let's make sure we're being clean considerate by wiping down our equipment both before and after we use it. That way we can all enjoy our workouts. Now today, we're gonna get started in our stretching and abs area, which is a great place to work on your core muscles or to grab a mat and stretch it out after an awesome workout. We'll be focusing on total body and I'll be showing you each exercise both with and without equipment. That way you can follow along at a pace that fits you best with the equipment that you have. Make sure you take breaks when you need to and let's get started with a warm up. So for our warm up, we're gonna start with some jumping jacks, all right? Now, if you wanna substitute the jumping jacks for something easier, you can simply step to the side with the arms, okay? So pick whichever one fits you best. We're going for 40 seconds, all right? So if you wanna sidestep a little bit slower, go ahead. We're just warming up the body. Or if you're doing the full jumping jacks, go ahead. We're gonna get that heart rate going. Keep going, we're past the halfway point, And then we're gonna go into some windmills. So keep going, focus on your breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Good, you've got this, almost done. Great job, and done. All right, now we're gonna do some windmills. So we're gonna open up our stance nice and wide. We're gonna take one arm, reach it to the opposite toe, back up, and switch sides. All right, we're gonna do this one nice and slow. We're getting a little stretch out of this at the same time while we're engaging our core. A little bit of everything. Good, you're doing great, keep it up. And remember, if you can't go down that far, just go as far down as you can. It's all about working at our own pace. Great job, a few more. All right, and up. Perfect, now we're gonna do a squat with rotation. So we're gonna squat, rotate, each side. Good, so you should be using your core, a little bit of the shoulder, a little bit of the chest, your legs, because you're in that half squat total body. We're just warming it up. Great job. Make sure you're still breathing. Good. Halfway, guys. Almost done. And make sure you're controlling it. You don't want to be throwing it really quick. Nice and controlled. Steady movements. Pause in the middle. Good. Almost done. Great job, guys. One more. And done. Great. So now we're gonna start with a squat curl to overhead press. So I'll show you this with the weights and without the weights. We're gonna be going for 40 seconds. So we're gonna have our feet shoulder width apart, toes straight ahead. We're gonna start by squatting. Then we're gonna curl, bring our arms out so elbows are at 90 degrees, and then press up overhead, back down. Bring this in, we're gonna hammer curl on the way down and squat again. All right, so rotate, regular curl up, arms up, press overhead, back down, Bring the arms in, hammer curl down. Good, squat, curl up, arms up, press overhead, bring it down, bring the arms in, hammer curl down. Good, you're doing great, keep going. And if you don't have weight, it's gonna look just the same. So you're gonna squat, curl, up to 90, press overhead, down, back, down. Same exact thing. If you're at home and you have soup cans or water bottles, feel free to substitute those for weights. Or you can do it just with your body weight. And done. Now we're gonna do a floor press. And again, you can do this both with and without equipment, okay? So if you're at home, make sure you have a mat. If you're in the club, you're gonna want a mat also. Um, you can also substitute a towel on top of a rug. Also, if you're at home, just something to protect your spine. So, four. Our floor press, we're gonna do a close grip. So if you have your dumbbells, you're gonna put these together. They're gonna be right a little bit below your chest. And then you're just gonna press upward, keeping your shoulders back and back down, okay? Now, if you don't have equipment, you're gonna put your palms together, keep those shoulders back, press inwards. So press your palms together and you're keeping that pressure as you're going up and down. This will engage your chest, okay? 
You can also substitute the weights again for something else you have at home, but if you don't have the weights, just squeeze those palms together. It's still gonna activate your chest, okay? Keep going, keep breathing. Halfway, almost done. And make sure you keep those shoulder blades back. If you gotta take a second to adjust yourself, always do so. Remember, we're going at our own pace, okay? And you wanna push those palms together as you're moving the arms up and down. And relax. Great job. So we're gonna put that mat off to the side. Good. And now we are going to work our back, okay? So we just did the chest. So again, if you have dumbbells, we're gonna do a bent over row. So you're gonna have your feet about shoulder width apart, slight bend in those knees, about 45 degrees bent over. And you're going to pull these in towards your armpit, keep the elbows tucked in, okay? Now, if you don't have weight, same exact thing, but you're gonna open up the elbows a little bit. So don't have them so tucked in. You're gonna bring it out a little bit wider, okay? So this is tucked in. If you don't have weights, bring it out a little wider. Pinch those shoulder blades together, okay? So we're going for 40 seconds. Good. Really squeeze. If you've got the dumbbells, same exact thing. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Good, don't forget that breathing. You're doing great. You're also getting the legs because you have that kind of half squat bent over position. So the whole body's engaged. Good. One last one and relax. Awesome. So now we're gonna work our triceps. So we're gonna do an overhead tricep press. Now, if you don't have the weight, put your fingertips together and you're gonna press them together and press upwards, okay? This is gonna help engage your triceps. You will still feel a little bit of your biceps. That's okay. If you have the weight, we're just gonna take one of them. Make sure you grip it securely. Bring it up overhead, elbows tucked in. You don't want them out here, keep them tucked in. No lower than 90 degrees and back up, okay? So you can do this both with and without weight. If you don't have the weight, fingertips together, press them together and do the same exact motion. There should be a slight bend in your knees and that kind of ready stance and keep going. We're going for 40 seconds. Don't forget your breathing. Try to keep your head up, don't let that chin kind of sink down keep that head up and keep those elbows tucked in and remember if the weight's too much for you you can do the fingertips where you put your fingertips together same exact motion okay almost done one more and done great job now we're going to work the biceps so for our biceps we're going to switch it up a bit so if you're at home you can do body weight but we're gonna try to do a single leg. So you can do it both with two legs if you're more comfortable, but if you wanna make it a little bit more challenging, simply just break your foot up, maybe just like an inch or two off the ground, and we're just going to do a hammer curl, okay? So dumbbell curl has palms facing up, hammer curl, there's no rotation, okay? If you don't have weights, you can do body weights, soup cans, whatever you have. If you're doing it with dumbbells, same exact thing. We're just gonna balance and hammer curl. Okay, if you're more secure with two feet, go ahead, put two feet on the ground. It's all about working at your own pace. All right, we're at halfway, so we're gonna switch feet if you are balancing. Good, so we're working our legs and our core because we're stabilizing that one leg while getting some bicep work in there. Good, don't forget your breathing. We're almost done. Great job, keep it up, you've got this. Now you might feel a little wobbly in your ankle. That's because you are working to stabilize, just balancing on one foot while moving the weight. So you're getting a little ankle strengthening, leg strengthening, and your core. Almost done, don't forget that breathing. Good, almost there, you're doing great. And again, if you feel more comfortable on two feet, that's fine, okay. It's all about falling along at a pace that fits you best. Good and relax. Awesome job. So now we are going to move on to our calves. So if you don't have weights at home, don't sweat it. We're simply gonna use our body weight. We're coming up on our tippy toes and back down. If you wanna add weight and you've got water bottles, soup cans, or dumbbells, go ahead, grab those. And we're simply just coming up on the tippy toes and back down. Up and down. You wanna control it. Don't let yourself rock. So when you come down, don't let the toes come up. Just kind of control it nice, slow, and steady. 
pause at the top, slow on the way down. Great job, you've got this, you're doing great. Remember that breathing, good. If you wanna make this more challenging, go ahead and try to just do one leg. It's gonna be a little harder, so make sure you're going at your own pace, all right? I'm gonna do two feet on the ground, because that's my pace. Great job, everyone. One more, and relax. All right, we can't forget the core. So our, we're gonna add the core to this circuit and get a plank in there. So we can do many versions of this plank. So for a plank, you can do forearms and toes. You could do forearms and knees. You could do straight arms and knees or straight arms and toes. You just wanna make yourself flat like a board, engage the core, and I'm gonna show you modification if you wanna make it a little harder, okay? So we're just holding, and if you wanna make it harder, you can add the side dip, where you're gonna dip your hip to one side, center, then the other side, center. Okay, so that's if you wanna make it harder, you wanna make it easier, just hold, even easier, go ahead and go down to your knees. All right, we're just holding this for 40 seconds. Take breaks if you need to. If you need to grab some water, catch your breath, stretch your shoulders out, feel free to take that break. You're doing awesome. We're gonna run through this again, so we'll get a second go at this. Good, keep that whole body tight. Almost there, and relax. Good, stretch it out if you need to. Child pose for those shoulders, cobra pose for the stomach. All right, guys, let's take a second and grab some water, because we're gonna run through that circuit one more time, all right? All right, good job, everyone. All right, so let's start with that squat curl to press, feet shoulder width apart, and we are going to squat, rotate, curl up, arms to 90 degrees, press up overhead, back down, bring the arms in, hammer curl down, and squat, rotate, up, arms to 90 degrees, press overhead, back down, arms in, hammer curl down, great. Keep going. And remember, you can do the same thing with water bottles, soup can or with no weights at all. Good, and squat. Rotate, curl, arms to 90 degrees, press overhead, back down, bring it in, hammer curl down. Great job, everyone. Let's go, keep going a few more. Good, we'll make this our last one. And hammer curl down. Great job, everyone. All right, let's get that chest. So we're gonna grab that mat again. And remember, you can do this with or without weight. So if you don't have weight at home, you're gonna press your hands together. So take a second, set those shoulders nice and back, palms together, press inward, and then arms out and arms back in. If you've got weights, we're gonna put those weights together, okay? Press up and back in. Those weights should be touching. Leave a little bend at the elbow at the end. Slow on the rebound. Good, and don't forget that breathing. You're doing great. Pause at the top, slow on the rebound. Pause at the top, slow on the rebound. Good, and if you need to take a second, set those shoulders back, do so. Sometimes those shoulders start to wander. That's okay. One last one, and relax. Great job, everyone. So let's put that mat aside, because we're gonna do some bent over rows. Okay, all right, and again, if you don't have weight, feet shoulder width apart, slight bend in the knees, you're gonna bring your arms out a little bit to the side, so a little bit wider. If you have the weights, tuck them in a little closer, okay? All right, ready, 40 seconds, let's go. Good, so you should kinda have like 45 degrees bent over, slight bend in those knees, and squeeze those shoulder blades, and squeeze them, like as if there's a acorn in between them and you're trying to break it. And pause, slow on the rebound and pause at the top, slow on the rebound, good. You're gonna feel this in your legs because you're also stabilizing this bent over position, but you're doing a great job. Good, and remember, if you don't have those weights, just open up the stance a little bit and you're just bringing those arms out a little bit wider. Same thing, okay, good. One more, really squeeze and relax, great job. So let's get those triceps. Again, feet shoulder width apart. If you don't have weights, fingertips together, overhead. We're coming down to 90 degrees. Back up and back down, all right? If you have the weight, 
You're gonna grip it securely with two hands, bring it up overhead, elbows tucked in, and up. Okay, same exact thing, just with the weight. If you don't have the weight, press those fingertips together. It's gonna help you activate it. Good. We're working those triceps. You might feel a little biceps also, that's okay, because your biceps are helping to decelerate the movement. Good. Don't forget that breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Good, you're doing great. One more, and bring it back down. Awesome job, so let's get those biceps. So again, you can do this with two feet on the ground, you can hover one, you wanna get more of that total body effect, and you can do it with or without weight. So, if you don't have weight, you're just gonna do, move the arms, okay? Maybe kind of clench the fist just a little bit lightly. We're not making a really hard grip, just a light grip. Good, and if you wanna do it on two feet, that's fine, okay? And if you've got the weight, same thing, just with the weights. Keep those shoulders set nice and back. Core engaged, slight bend in those knees. All right, we're pausing at the top, slow on the rebound. Pause at the top, slow on the rebound, good. And, all right, and if you're balancing on one leg, let's go ahead and balance on the other. Good, you might be a little shaky, but if you need a touchdown, that's why we have our foot hovering over only an inch off the ground. That way you can kind of put it down when you need to kind of catch yourself. Good, one more, and relax. Great job, all right, we're gonna get those calves. So right feet shoulder width apart, and we're just coming up on those tippy toes, pausing, and slow on the way down. And up, and slow on the way down. If you don't have weights, don't worry about it. You can use your body weight. Same exact thing, if you wanna make it harder, you can go ahead and try doing a single leg one. They're a little tricky, so take your time with them. All right, I'm gonna stay on two. Good, if you're doing it on one foot, go ahead and switch feet. Great job, make sure those shoulders are set nice and back. If you're holding the weight, and don't forget that breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth, you're doing great. Good, one last raise, and up. Slow on the way down. Great job, everyone. Let's get that core one last time. So grab that mat or towel if you're at home. And remember, we have different versions. We can do forearms and toes, forearms and knees, straight arms and knees, or straight arms and toes. Do whichever one fits you best, all right? You wanna make it harder, you can add the hip dip where you pause in the middle and go to each side. Okay, that makes it harder. Good, we're just holding. You wanna be flat like a board. So you're engaging your core, you're engaging your quads, your calves, even a little bit of the hamstrings, your shoulders, your biceps and triceps are stabilizing your body weight. And don't forget that breathing. You're doing a great job. Almost done, hang in there. It's a good time to go to your happy place. Maybe think about the beach or your favorite vacation spot. Hang in there and done. Great job, everyone. All right, go ahead, put that mat aside and let's stretch it out. Okay, so we're gonna do some combo stretches because today it's all about total body. So we're getting a little bit of everything. So first we're gonna get the triceps in. So we're gonna fold our arm back behind. Take your other hand, you're gonna push it back just so you feel the tension in the tricep. We're gonna open up our stance and we're gonna lean to the side. So you should feel it in the side and in your tricep. And we're holding for 20. Good, make sure you Focus on your breathing. Try to slow it down. Good. And nice and relaxing. Almost done with this side. And gently release, good. All right, we're gonna switch sides. So other arm, hold it back like you're patting yourself on the back. Push it back with the other hand. And now we're gonna lean to the other side. So we're getting tricep and the whole side of that body. Good, you guys are doing awesome. This is great. Almost done. And up to center, gently release. Great job. All right. We're gonna keep our stance pretty wide. We're gonna take our right arm across the body. Take your left hand, pull it in, and then we're gonna twist to the left side. So you're getting a bicep shoulder stretch and a torso rotation stretch out of this. And we're hanging here for 20 seconds. Good job, everyone. Don't forget that breathing. We want to slow it down, cooling the body down. 
almost done. And gently release, good. So now we're gonna switch sides. So left arm across the body, pull it back with your right hand. Now we're gonna twist to the right side. And just go as far as you can, guys. Like you don't need to force it, just right until you feel tension and we're gonna hold it right there, okay? Good, almost there. A few more seconds. And gently release, great job. All right, we're gonna stretch out our quadriceps. So if you have something to hold on to for balance, definitely hold on to it. If not, we're gonna try to balance on one leg. We're just bringing that heel towards the back of our butt and we're holding. Now, if you're getting a little wobbly, the little trick that I was taught in field hockey camp, take your finger, put it on your belly button. I have no clue why this works, but it helps some people balance. Maybe it'll help you balance too. Good, so we're just feeling that tension in that quadricep. Good. Almost done. And gently release, great job. All right, let's switch legs. So we're gonna bring up that opposite leg. Good, and if you need to hold on to something for balance, definitely do so. If I had something right here, I probably would be holding on myself, but I don't. So I'm gonna put my fingertip on my belly button and let that help me balance. Cool. All right, we're gonna gently release and let's get those hamstrings. So we're just gonna have feet shoulder width apart and we're just gonna bend down as far as we can. So if you can touch your toes, touch your toes. If you can touch the ground, touch the ground. If you can only touch your knees or your calves, that's okay. Just until you feel that tension in the back of those hamstrings. And we're holding for 20. 20 seconds, that is. Good. This might also stretch a little bit into the calf, depending on how far down you can go. But we're just going until we feel tension and holding it there. Almost done. Good job. All right, we're gonna slowly come up to center. And great job, everyone. We did it. That was an awesome workout. Now make sure you keep tuning in with us Monday through Friday for new workouts and trainers on our PF social channels. And don't forget to check out that Planet Fitness mobile app for even more ways to keep moving. See you next time.